I can guarantee if you're not using this system with every haircut, you'll never be at the top of your game and your customer might never truly be satisfied. Have you ever wondered why the top 5% of barbers in the industry produce such high quality content compared to you? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you the simple process of how to turn your haircuts from average to showstoppers just by implementing these primary shapes. It's in fact so simple, it doesn't matter how experienced you are, anyone can do it, and I'm gonna show you some examples of barbers who are using it to perfect their game. But first I can hear you asking, how exactly does that affect my income? Well, using this method, I can promise you you'll attract and keep new and existing clients by being more able to satisfy their diverse needs. Not only will the haircut grow out in good shape, but when you implement these shapes correctly, the client will feel as though they've got a haircut that suits their head shape and will leave confident that they found the right barber. Before I got myself educated, I found myself slipping into the same hole that many creators fooled out. I was getting sick and tired of producing the same haircuts day in, day out, with no real direction, and waking up in the morning only to find my monotonous routine it was breaking me. It was only when I found out how to implement shape into my methods that my consultations, haircuts and creativity took a complete new turn. Being able to understand the true architecture of hair completely revolutionized the way that I thought about haircuts. And I believe it was only then that my professional career started. Here are three fundamental shapes you'll be using your haircuts from now on. Stay tuned to find out how to actually implement this strategy into your haircuts. As of course, we can't just chuck these shapes onto the head in hopes that they'll work. The primary shapes used in hair architecture are the triangular, square, and round shapes. These shapes all have different outcomes and are all applied differently. For example, the round shape is cut perpendicular to the head shape, resulting in a soft, round finish, which is often used when you're cutting women's hair or when you're trying to gain a natural look. The square shape, however, is slightly more aggressive. This is used to control the weight of the hair, commonly used when cutting men's hair to incorporate a solid shape with lots of movement and control and generally consists of over direction and lots of straight lines. Finally, the triangular shape, or in haircut terminology, graduation. This triangular line is progressive in nature and generally starts long and finishes short. Often used in disconnections and haircuts like pompadours and curtains. You'll find that producing triangular lines requires lots of over direction to pull the hair from long to short. Well, how does it all work? How exactly do we place a square onto someone's head? We don't. The shapes here are just fictitious. Example one is the round layer. To cut the round layer, we're cutting hair in a certain way that imitates the natural head shape. The natural head shape of the skull is generally round, so we're following the curvature of the head when we take our lines on both the Y and X axes. The finished result of this haircut is soft, round, and layered the whole way around the head, resulting in a weightless natural shape. This shape is best suited to someone with extremely coarse and thick hair that wants to reduce the maximum amount of weight from the structure of the hair. The round shape also works well for someone with well-defined features such as a wide forehead and strong jawline as it can help distract from definition by softening the face shape. Example two is the square layer. To cut the square layer, we're cutting the hair in a way that we can introduce or maintain weight in certain areas such as the corner of the head. This haircut generally consists of over direction and is cut by over directing each panel into the last. On the Y axis, the vertical section of hair, the shortest point of the shape would be at the apex. The frontal shape would be the longest and the same for the crown. When cutting the X axis, we're usually using horizontal sections of hair as the longer points of the layer will be at the side panels. The square layer is usually used mainly in men's hair as it creates a bold masculine image with lots of movement and body. The square layer is powerful at taking emphasis away from a softer, rounder facial shape, giving the client some straight lines and structure. For example three, we're looking at the triangular shape. This shape is probably one of the most commonly used shapes and in its most simple form, it's a haircut from long to short or graduation. Think of it this way. If you're cutting a pompadour, the shape generally gets shorter as it goes back, as it flows into the natural shape of the head. That means the front of the hair is long to perform the pomp and gradually as we work back towards the crown, the shape sits flat. This gives us the triangular shape. So I think we've done a pretty good job at covering the primary shapes. Although these shapes are actually completely useless unless you watch my next video on how to actually cut these shapes into the head. And to do that, we need to find out how to head map and section correctly. So click on the next video if you're serious about taking your game to the next level.